Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Today we are going to do a review of the All Powers X-Dragon. That's X-Dragon. Fold up solar panel charger. Isn't that a cool name? X-Dragon. It's even got like a little dragon where the G is. Look at that. That's neat. Okay. Now, about a little over a year ago, I actually got three power, three solar panels from this company. We've got these two, which have already been reviewed, and this is the 12 watt, and this is the 16 watt, and this one, which what, which is the 14 watt. This one here is listed as their high efficiency model. And I believe they have the efficiency listed as 22%. What does that mean? I don't know. That's what they have listed. Also, I noticed it felt kind of light. And I, I, I put it on my digital scale, and the digital scale said 15.9 ounces. That's for the 14 watt model. And these are all, I believe, five volt USB. Now their 12 watt regular model, which takes which has three panels, was one pound, it's like one pound and two tenths of an ounce. So the weight was very close between these two, but you get more wattage with this one. And this one uses two panels. The panels felt a little, had like a greater degree of flexibility. These panels, Felt a little, a little more rigid. I mean, not, not, not like glass, but a little bit more rigid. Another thing too, these panels, these high efficiency panels, I've seen them on several chargers, on both eBay and on um, Amazon. I think these are standard, just like I've seen these panels on several other chargers as well. So my review of the X-Dragon, see a little dragon where the G is, I, I love that. My review of the X-Dragon is probably going to also apply to the other high efficiency panels that you see. And there's several other makers. These panels are seven watts each. This is a total of 14 watts. And they also have a three panel one, which I think is around 20 or 21. Actually, I think it's 20 watts. So I don't know where we lost the watt, but hey, it is what it is. Three times, yeah, yeah, that's that's the math, that is the math, but it nevertheless is listed as 20. So this is their 14 watt model. Okay, now inside of it, on steps like that, actually on Velcro, it's got the same loops as the regular panels, same ones. Folds out, but now on the inside, see this? Is it my imagination, or does it look like they're copying Goal Zero with this design? Hey, you know, that, that's my, my interpretation by looking at this design here. It is what it is, I guess, you know? Okay, there's a little pocket, which is zippered, which I kind of like because the other model, it's just Velcro. So I like the little zippered pocket with the mesh. That's kind of cool. Big, big zipper on that too. So let's unzip it, see what I got inside. Because I always got, if you give me a pocket, I'm going to fill it with stuff. We've got a little, a little set of, of uh, beaners on a large, a slightly larger beaner. They gave me like, like three or four of these little beaners, but I put them on a little bit bigger one. Here's something that's kind of nice. This is a little, uh, a little battery, a, a power bank. This is from my charge. And it's very, very thin. Has a little thing where you have to shake it. You'll never see that, but it's um, got, it's a, it's a three, has four bars. This is three bars. I use this to charge my cell phone in a, a little, one of those little um, mobile uh, speakers. So it, it, I've run some stuff down on this. It's very thin and that's why I chose it to go with this charger because it could fit in like, th like that, and I can close everything up, and I, I don't have to, it doesn't bulge or anything. It's very light, and plus for solar, this is 3000 mAh. 
I'm not gonna fill this up easily in a day. I mean, through normal use. So it'll always have a bank though, where I can always store energy, but it doesn't adversely affect the packing. See, it doesn't really have any influence on how thick this is. So this is a very thin style battery pack, basically, or power bank. It came with a little thicker cable. Now, uh, All Powers gave me a cable with this, but the cable that came with this charger was thicker, so I chose to take this one with it because it's a thicker cable, and in the field, I try to limit entropy's effects on things, and thicker cables tend to last longer. Here's what we'll do. We're going to charge two things with this. We're gonna charge the iPad. The iPad's now at 17%. Probably not gonna be able to see that at 17%. And this is a notorious slow charger and a notoriously big battery in it, at least, at least from my, my personal experience with it. So we're gonna charge the iPad and we're gonna also at the same time try to get, maybe try to get another bar on this um, thin, 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 my charge, 3,000 milliamp hour, I think that's what it is, milliamp hour, MAH, battery pack. So we'll see if we can charge two devices at once. Okay. I'm gonna put this at sort of the angle of the sun. What time is it now? Oh, hold on. I think we're gonna might as well set up a timer too, right? Let's see. I don't want you guys to see my password. All right. There we go. Minecraft Honey Wars, professional players. I think my nephew's been, um, <laughs> he's been on my iPod again. All right, install software updates later. Come on guys, leave me alone. No, remind me later. I don't, ah, damn, now I want to punch in the password again. Oh, I, I agree, just leave me alone. It's all, you know, Apple pisses me off sometimes with this. I'll do the upgrade later, okay. All right, so let's see here, we have a, um, Clock and okay, we're gonna go with the stopwatch. All right, so we have the stopwatch, so we'll get this going. First thing, we'll plug in the battery pack, which is regular um, regular USB. Now I'm gonna put this stuff in a box. Now if I was in the field, I would put it inside my pack or in shade. I don't want my electronics cooking in the sun. And the box is, of course, a white Smirnoff box, citrus. All right, so we'll put this here. The iPod, which is at 17%. Um, Before we do that though, I wanna show you something really quick. It has two USB ports right there. And when, it's, when it has enough energy to charge, let's see if we can get it to light up. it will light up. Though the light lighting up is no indication. I don't know if you could see that or not. But that, but that um, light there lighting up is no indication of how much power you're getting. And one other small note, even though this is listed as a high efficiency panel, it seems to me their lower efficiency panels have a lower threshold of actually starting to charge. This thing needs a good, like, a good amount of sun, um, not like an overcast day or, or a light bulb held nor towards it to actually start the process. Where this thing, you can actually put this up to a light bulb and um, believe it or not, it's little uh, LED will start to glow. I don't know if you can see any of that, but um, can you see that? I don't know, doesn't matter. But the main thing is that this has a lower threshold to actually start charging. However, I noticed at those extremely low levels, when this thing's going, when it's overclassed and cloudy, the amount of charge it's producing is so insignificant, it doesn't really matter. So although this does seem to need more, pop, more sunlight, 
to char to start producing energy, that little shady area, it, the energy produced, I don't even get 1% on my phone in an hour when it's overcast like that. So that's just a consideration if you hear these can charge in lower light. Yes, they can, but the amount of energy coming off of it is not a lot. Okay, so we will, um, and that's just my personal observation by testing it. I didn't use any scientific devices. I just plugged into things. All right, so we'll plug, speaking of that, one plug there. One plug right there. I'll show you guys in a second, and girls. Two plugs, two plugs. Okay, I'm gonna tilt this sorta at the angle of the sun. Make sure nothing's in. Okay, first thing, I guess we'll plug in um, the i the iPad. There we are. Oh, we might as well start the timer, right? Timer is um. Well, I might as well wait till least plug it in. Okay. There we go. I love that sound. I'll always love that sound. Free energy, once again, outside of control of the man. And as always, I'm not offending the man. I'm just saying it's free energy outside of his control. Or her control. Do we really know if the man, the man could be a woman? We don't know. But who's ever in power, who's ever in control? He's not in control of this. Okay, now we're gonna plug in the charger. This, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's indicating it's charging. Now, one reason why I chose, hopefully, oh, start to start. Let's start the start watch. Start. We're starting the time. We're starting the timer. One reason why I chose this particular charger is it doesn't trigger a charging error. Should I block the solar panel, it will keep. It will turn off, but then it'll turn back on again once the light hits the solar panel. Some chargers. I mean, some some. Um, Batteries, if they're getting USB charged, but there's an interruption in power, it'll trigger an error, force you to unplug and plug it back in when it has enough voltage to begin the process again. But this is charge, solar charger compatible, compatible, that's the word, solar charger compatible, meaning that if clouds come over and it dips below the threshold and this thing turns off, as soon as the power comes back on, meaning the clouds move away, it starts to charge again. You're charging, okay. So we'll put that also out of the sun. We'll move this a little over more here more. There we are, into the box. How are we doing? Hey, we're at 18%. Okay. So here we go. Now we're in the box here. We're at 18%. We're charging. We are charging. And we'll come back to this in... I got things I have to do. I have to go out. I need to go sh food shopping. I need to go to the uh, bank. So there's a few things I have to do. So we'll still live it. It could be one hour, it could be two. We'll see how long it takes me to do my uh, chores. And we'll be back to this. Hey everybody, I'm back. Everything takes so much longer than you expect. Okay, so two hours and 31 minutes. A little more than I thought, but you know, uh, everything takes forever. It just takes forever. Let's see what we got here. Um, what do we have? Whoa, 65% charged. Hey, you know, look at that, 65% charged. There we go. There we are. 
Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Probably can't see that in the sun, but um, 65%. We left it at what? 17%? All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Now this thing here is still charging. But you know, I have no idea with this because it's just, this is just a, um, this is like kind of like a bar system. So let's see here. Um, what are you at? Okay, it looks like it's set at three bars, but I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what that means because there's no actual percentage. And this I, iPod, I mean iPad, I don't know why I mix those up all the time, but this iPad's got like a really big, big battery. Um, oh, 65%, we're at 65% now, I think, um, yeah, that, I like that. I think that's good. 65%. Hey, you know, so I guess that will conclude the test of the, um, unplug all these things here. Of the X Dragon by all powers. And look, the little dragon. I like that. <laughs> okay, that concludes the test of the X Dragon. It worked okay. It worked okay. We got, um, in roughly uh, two hours and 31 minutes, we were able to push the uh, iPad up um, 65% um, from 17%. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's, it's certainly um, it's a lot bigger than the uh, phone size thing, so that's not bad. The uh, battery pack, we may never know. We may never know because it's still at the three bars. But I can bet you it, it, it can, if the uh, indicator showed that it was continually charging. So we can bet, you know, we can bet that this thing um, sucked down a lot of juice. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back out. Now, this, this test is done. I'm going to keep charging these things just for the fun of it. But, um, so I would call that a success. High efficiency panel did a great job. Um, and then I guess we'll conclude uh, this test. And if you like what you've seen, don't forget to... Uh, Hit the subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up and y'all have a great day. Oh, one more thing I forgot to add uh, before I'm done. During the test when I was out, it kind of clouded over and looked like there was going to be a thunderstorm or something like that. So I would say half that time, it was under a thick haze and clouds. In fact, there's still a haze, but there's more sun right now. So that pro tells you that one, this, this solar panel kept it going enough that there was no charging error triggered in the iPad or this. So it wasn't continually sunny during that test. In fact, it clouded over so much I was almost considering redoing the test, but I was like, you know something? No, because you don't really, in the real world, you don't always get like the sun we have right this second during the course of a charging event. You may get clouds passing through or whatever. So both the, um, iPad and the My Charge charger continue to charge during the um, entire test despite some overhead clouds. And I guess that indeed will conclude. I wanted to make sure I get all the information to you people out there. That will indeed conclude our test. And thank you very much. And if you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And y'all have a great day.